My name is Alex Collison. I'm a professor of psychiatry and pediatrics and a child psychiatrist at the Seaver Autism Center for Research and Treatment. And I'll be talking to you about the benefits of genetic testing in autism. We're hearing more about genetic testing in autism because it's recommended now for all children suspected of having an autism spectrum disorder, according to the American College of Medical Genetics. It's clear now that with advances in genetic technology and the assembly of several large genetic consortia dedicated to discovering new genes that cause autism, we're in an exponential phase of discovery. As the technologies become more and more available and less and less expensive, the value of genetic testing is expected to increase dramatically in the coming years. There are several reasons why genetic testing is extremely valuable and should be done in all children with autism, regardless of age. First, identifying a specific genetic cause of autism can help in family planning. Most genetic causes of autism identified to date occur spontaneously and are not inherited. As such, the recurrence risk should really be no greater than the risk in the general population. Second, identifying a genetic defect can lead families to experts who specialize in that specific type of autism. Third, knowing the cause of autism can help with improved assessment and monitoring, because when the genetic defect is associated with other medical features, it may be important to be aware of. Many families also benefit from meeting other families affected by the same kind of autism and find enormous support within a community. And finally, knowing the cause of autism can help identify clinical trials that target the specific genetic form, either now or in the future. The other major advantage to genetic testing is that it can subgroup autism. Autism is currently diagnosed based entirely on behavioral features, but knowing the gene that is involved provides really important insights into the underlying biology. We used to focus entirely on symptoms like social and communication impairments and restricted and repetitive behaviors. For treatment, we'd borrow from other fields like anxiety disorders and attempt to apply them to autism-like behaviors. But today, if you know the gene, you can know what's happening if there's loss of function of the protein that the gene is supposed to encode for. This may help understanding what is happening in the brain, the need for specific types of treatments, and may even help predict treatment response in the future. Genetics can also help us develop new treatments. As noted, the treatments for autism are currently based entirely on symptoms, irrespective of the underlying biology and current treatments are delivered with really mixed success. However, there is hope of developing more targeted and even disease-modifying treatments in the future. To develop new treatments, we've adopted the following approach. First, we identify a specific gene that causes autism when mutated. Then we replicate the genetic defect in a model system using an animal or even a brain cell derived from a patient's blood cells. We can use these models to better understand the biology and understand what's going wrong with brain cell connections. Then we study the various treatments, but first in the model, to see if they can reverse the biological changes associated with the genetic defects. If the treatments work in the models, then we move to clinical trials in humans affected by the same genetic changes. There's enormous promise in this approach, and many clinical trials are currently underway in single gene forms of autism using exactly this paradigm. I hope this module on the benefits of genetic testing in autism has been helpful. For more information, please check out www.sieverautismcenter.org.